Hi, we're going to take a look at how to install a PayPal button on our web page. We're going to do that first of all by going into plugins. And when I want to add a new plugin, since I don't have this on here yet, I'm going to go up to Add New, and I'm going to type PayPal button into my search plugins box. Now we have a few different options, as always, with these installs. If you want to do a light PayPal button, this is going to allow you to put this button on your posts and pages. Underneath we can also add a PayPal simple donation widget so you can allow people to donate to your favorite causes through your website. And we've got a bunch of other ones as well. I'm going to go ahead and click on nice PayPal button light and click on install. I'm going to tell it I wish to install this plugin and it's going to go ahead and install it for me and I'm going to click on activate plugin. Once I'm on the dashboard again I'm going to scroll down to settings and I'm going to go down and click on Nice PayPal Button Light. It's going to ask for my PayPal account email and my merchant account ID. That means you're going to have to go to PayPal and make yourself an account. Once you get your merchant account ID, you can go ahead and put your merchant account number in here. Underneath, we have your PayPal test mode email or test your merchant account ID. And this is where you're going to enter your Sandbox Test Seller email address. Or if you have a merchant account ID, you can put that in here as well. Keep in mind to use this feature, you have to have a PayPal developer account. Here you can choose whether to have all of your buttons on or out of test mode. When it's on, these transactions are going to be sent to your PayPal sandbox. And of course, again, you have to have the PayPal developer account. Underneath, you put in your currency code. I have USD for US dollars, but you can also put in any of these other codes. Underneath, you can put in your country code, and mine is US. Beneath that, you can put your language code, and mine is English. US English, so that's what I've got. And here we have our default button size, which can be small or large. Then, if you want the buyer to be sent to PayPal, you can either have it in a current window or it'll pop up a new window for them to take a look at. And you'll click on Update Your Settings. Let's take a look at our WordPress Tutorial Hub. I'm going to go into Appearance. So I've gone back into my Plugins page, and I'm going to scroll down until I find the plugin for my PayPal and it is right here, nice PayPal button like. And to see how to actually put the PayPal button into our pages, I'm going to click on Visit Plugin Site. And I've brought that up in a second screen. Now, you can see where it has our PayPal button light for WordPress documentation. And according to this, we need to use short code in our WordPress page or post to bring our PayPal button in for this item. Now as you can see we've got the name of the plugin which is the nice PayPal Lite, the name of it, let's say in this instance you would be selling a WordPress coffee mug so it's used the WordPress coffee mug and then put the amount right here. So just as an example let's go ahead and click and copy this and then put it back into one of our pages on our WordPress site and I'm going to put it in my sample page. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom so we can easily see it. And I'm going to paste my PayPal button in on the bottom of my first page. Then I'm going to go up to Preview Changes and scroll down. And you'll see that it has right here Buy Now. If I click on that, it shows me that my order summary is for a WordPress coffee mug for $12.50. Isn't that easy? So this is a really easy way to use PayPal on your account. People can pay you, you can put it straight into your checking account like you would with any other PayPal button. So that's an easy way to put PayPal into your WordPress page. So I hope you liked this tutorial and I'll see you for the next one. Thanks for listening.